In a News 4 exclusive tonight, we're hearing from a subway musician attacked this week while performing underground. Now, the surveillance video captured this confrontation right here. This is at the busy 34th Street station. You see the woman right there went up, beat him with his own water bottle. News 4's Chris Jose has his story tonight. A familiar face known for his musical renditions underground attacked during the evening rush at Herald Square Station. Ian Forrest, whose stage name is Eyeglasses, holding his head, the pain shooting down his body. I just felt in the middle of performance some terrible collision on the back of my head. Watch as a woman picks up Ian's metal water bottle, randomly smashing the back of his head. He never saw it coming. A lot of pain. I didn't know what happened. I was kind of disoriented. Police searching for the woman. Tuesday's attack, not the first for Ian. He says it's the second time in a year. In Times Square, a different subway station, um, someone tried to rob me of my instrument and also attacked me as well. The electric cellist, singer, songwriter, and medical student is a proud member of Music Under New York. The MTA does not log specific numbers of assaults on musicians and subway stations. Ian believes tracking those numbers and diverting resources will help prevent future attacks. If you talk to any of these musicians, you know, a non-insignificant number of them will tell you something similar happened to them. They got assaulted, they got attacked, harassed. In a statement, the MTA saying no one in the transit system, including musicians, should be subjected to violence. And when the NYPD catches up to the person who committed this senseless attack, they will be held accountable. Ian entertaining crowds in subway stations for nearly a decade, notably performing the national anthem at Madison Square Garden last December. The viral sensation now suspending his underground performances indefinitely. To me, I'm asking myself, is it worth my, my life? I mean, this could have been so much worse. Ian also calling for additional police presence for subway musicians. If you recognize the woman in the picture, you're asked to call police. In Midtown, Chris Jose, News 4 New York.